Well, despite that 500-point reversal to the upside, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, in fact, all of these major indices remain mired in a series of lower highs. On one hand, uh, you have to wonder where propels the market out of this deadly down channel. And on the other hand, every time it looks like the bottom is going to drop out, the stock market stages these impressive rebounds. But at some point, one of these things has to give. So the question is, will major indices reverse this 2018 trend or will the constant downside test eventually take a toll and lead to a major correction? Back with us, Steve Dudash and Lee Munson. Steve, uh, something in my mind, I mean, you've got this sort of pennant formation going on. It feels like something is going to break real soon. Well, it, it, something should break really soon, but it's like you were talking about with the short sellers and you saw Shake Shack go up 35% or whatever it is in the last few days. That's not because they came up with some new drug or some new tech app or anything like that. That's just short sellers who got it caught on the wrong size, getting squeezed and then getting squeezed again. It's the definition of it. So when your viewers are looking at it, you've got to be careful. Don't expect another 35% next week just because that's what you saw this week. It's a burger joint, a great burger joint. I like the burgers, but it's a burger joint. So you've got to look at other areas if you're looking for long-term growth. And we've, we've talked about this before, you know, overweighting tax, overweighting internationals, being realistic about your bond exposures. You know, that, that's more the direction where we need to be looking towards in the future and not so much these, these short-term spikes on the up or down sides. But, yeah, but uh, you know, it, it, uh, Lee, what happens here soon? Because I, it, this isn't going to continue, I don't think. I mean, at some point, you know, markets make it this uh, determined move. So either we'll find a way to break out through one of these, uh, you know, resistance points, or one of these times the market will be down 200 points and end up down 1,000 points. Well, I mean, let's just keep looking at the closes. Are we closing and making lower lows since the first week of February? The answer is not really. So I'd say that when we talk about this, this you know, you talk about this consolidation and this, this energy, this pent up energy, I agree. It's going to go one way or the other. I would say that, you know, probably, we're, we're, you know, earnings season is done. I would say that you should expect more volatility probably through August. But I would say, what I would love to see is for this market to break down to maybe S&P 2500 because that's where you can go in and buy. Frankly, I don't think it's going to happen. I think that the pent-up energy is going to start to spike it up. And it's not from short sellers. It's because everybody is trying to hope that this market has run out of steam. When you look at places like Shake Shack, you can't stop earnings, even in overpriced stocks. I don't like Shake Shack. I don't like the burgers. I'm a vegan. But you know, when, when a company <laughs> like that is in high growth mode, yeah. and they actually put out some decent earnings, it's kind of a tell that the economy is fine, and you should expect better earnings between now and the end of the year. I wouldn't bet against that. Steve, real quick, we got to go. Is there any special stock or idea that you like a lot here? Um, I, I still like Shake Shack's burgers, but I, I tell you right now, uh, I would overweight the tech sector. All right. and we, I, I got to tell you right now, yeah. um, earnings seasons, we expected great earnings out of that. And the economy is doing better, but inflation is going to start spiking here in a little bit. With wages where they're at, with oil prices going up, you have to expect we're finally going to see some inflation growth, which means interest rates go up, and that's going to slow down the economy on the grand scheme. I'm not saying pullback, sure. but if you're expecting another 2017 type return year, I, I, there's, it mathematically right. can't happen. Gentlemen, uh, have a great weekend. And uh, Lee, when you come to town, I'll try to find a, a vegan joint, man. I've never had one of those fake burgers, but I'll have one with you. Thank you both very much. <laughs> All right. All right.